it is going to a million dollars a coin regardless regardless it doesn't matter it literally doesn't matter and your generation is not going to see another one of these things that easily you know you know they may i mean there is going to be some amazing ai stuff coming but it's not necessarily clear that you're going to be able to even invest in or participate in it in any way bitcoin is like right here in front of you it's a great opportunity right now and you're uh, my, my point is you're not going to see you wait another 10 years and you're 36 you know you're not going to see that you may not see that opportunity again you know what i mean like in your entire life bitcoin is headed for one million dollars per coin and most people haven't realized it yet according to the latest prediction from fred krueger a crypto expert with nearly a decade of wall street experience and a phd from stanford while many investors are focusing on traditional assets like real estate Kruger warns they could be overlooking something much bigger. Despite Bitcoin's price fluctuations, he believes the long-term trend signals massive growth. For millennials and Gen Z, Kruger argues that now is the time to act. Waiting another decade, he says, could mean missing out on the best opportunity to build significant wealth in their lifetime. Stop. You don't have time. Don't miss out this 2025 bull run. Educate yourself first ahead of the crowd. We have created the ultimate step-by-step -step crypto cheat guide that will guide you this bull run. Unlock the secrets of crypto and make smarter investments today. Now by clicking on the link below to get your exclusive copy just under $10. Buying a house at 7% interest when the houses have appreciated this far, locking yourself into just paying house payments and missing out on this opportunity of Bitcoin strikes me as an incredible incredibly bad trade right like you are potentially making you're not going to get and the, i think the thing about bitcoin is when you, your generation is not going to see another one of these things that easily you know you know they may i mean there is going to be some amazing ai stuff coming but it's not necessarily clear that you're going to be able to even invest in it or participate in it in any way right it may in fact take your job right <laughs> Like, you know, you don't know if, you don't really know if AI is friendly or, or not, right? You know, it, so, but I think, you know, you have this opportunity. Bitcoin is like right here in front of you. It's a great opportunity right now. And you're, uh, my, my point is you're not going to see, you wait another 10 years and you're 36, you know, you're not going to see that. You may not see that opportunity again. You know what I mean? Like in your entire life. So I definitely think this is a make or break moment for a lot of, uh, a lot of millennials and Gen Z's, you know, it's a, it's a make or break moment, right? Because if they make the wrong move, that's it. They're done. You know, you could be, you could basically be locking out, you know, the best period of your year, best years of your life to, at uh, acquire any kind of wealth you know if you haven't acquired some kind of wealth by the time you're 40 it's gonna be tough i mean i hate to say it but it's you know it it gets tough you know what i mean time you're 50 forget it now like you you better have you better have nailed it because you're, it's just i mean there's some there are some examples the guy who started mcdonald's started in his 50s right but you know in general you you kind of got it kind of got to acquire wealth early so I would say owning real estate right now is not a great way to acquire wealth. Was it a great way to do wealth? Even in the 80s, you would have been better off buying stocks. Okay. So, you know, really, really what you should have done in the, in the 80s is, is going along the stock market. Very few people did, right? It was a very similar to kind of where we are now with Bitcoin. Because people always said stocks were overpriced back then. They were like, ah, it's crazy. Crazy PE, 12 PE, oh, that's crazy. Like, why would I buy stocks at 12 PE? Well, because it was a great buy, right? Like, that was amazing, right? And, and hindsight's 2020. But I think, you know, I really think right now real estate is, is if you, you really shouldn't look at it as an investment, you should look at it as a cost. You're going to have, you're going to, it's going to cost you something to, to, to live. And, you know, it's really how much, how much cost do you want in your life or versus how much savings do you want to do? I would recommend people save more and I would recommend that they save in Bitcoin. I think that you're going to be better off saving in Bitcoin. Any analysis you do, you're going to be better off saving in Bitcoin as opposed to saving in 
your your house. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, you know, but I don't think I am. Uh, and I think, you know, you, you kind of have to go, you know, as Wayne Gretzky said, you have to go where the, don't, don't skate, skate where the puck is, skate where the puck's going, you know? And so you, you gotta be a little bit of one step ahead of the game. And, you know, real estate's for boomers like me, you know, like you don't need, you, you should be wherever you want to be, whether it's Budapest or Thailand or where, you know, go rent where it's cheap. It's cheap somewhere to rent, right? There's always nope. somewhere where you can rent cheap, right? And I'd say if I were your age, I would, I would not maybe even move to life. I'd, I'd be a little bit like you, just be a little bit of a nomad, but I would opportunistically look to live where it's, I would look to live outside of major cities where it's cheap, you know? And then I would, I would look to do stuff online or remote work right and i would uh look to do that and save in bitcoin nah, i think it's a simple the simple that's the cheat sheet you know for most people it's not not any more complicated than that and the problem is if you're living in san francisco or new york city right you're you know you may work for a financial firm in new york city or you may work for you know a tech giant in San Francisco. But if you're spending all your money on rent, right? Uh, or, you know, a parking garage for your car or whatever it is, right? Uh, that's not going to make you, that's not going to make you tons and tons of money right now. So I definitely think, you know, this is a great time to be stacking sats, especially the next five years. You know, I think you know, if you can delay things five years, delay things five years. And, you know, I, I think that's a, in general is a, it's a good, it, there's not always been this time. Like right now I see this opportunity, you know, if you go back to 2000, I would say, man, eh, what are you going to do? Buy a house, you know, you, you know, that seems like a good place to put your money, you know, right now, I don't think it's a good place to put your money. I'd say. I would stay away from real estate. You said Bitcoin is the type of opportunity you only get once in a lifetime or once in a generation and say in 10 years, it's not going to be the same opportunity. Perhaps it'll be AI, but Bitcoin is such a unique opportunity in that where's all the value of these AI companies that are going to be built? It's going to be to the VCs or the early investors and it, like it just won't normal everyday people won't have the same opportunity and access well, to the I think asset. Michael Saylor Michael Saylor said it really well which he said really what you want to do is you want to find something that's going to be really big that really has a really high chance of being really big right so it's kind of inevitable right and you want to get in when most people don't think it's going to be big they're they're not completely convinced okay now the problem with AI is I think Almost everybody on the planet is convinced that AI is going to be big, right? So it's like, if you're convinced that AI is going to be big, great. Join the club. You know, it's a big club. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know what I mean? It, there's a lot of people. And if you're doing a startup in AI, well, great. There's going to be 10,000 other startups in AI competing with you. And that you're going to be competing with Google, Microsoft, Apple, who, who you know, Amazon, open AI, you know, whatever, right? You, you're, so the competition's going to be fear. Fred Krueger, a crypto expert with extensive Wall Street experience, argues that Bitcoin presents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, one that millennials and Gen Z should not overlook. He believes Bitcoin is poised to reach $1 million per coin, and this massive growth potential is right in front of us. Unlike other emerging technologies such as AI, which may be harder to invest in directly, Bitcoin is accessible now, offering a clear chance for wealth accumulation. Kruger warns that waiting too long could mean missing out on Bitcoin's best years of growth. He highlights that traditional investments, such as real estate, may no longer offer the same wealth building potential, especially with rising interest rates and inflated prices. Instead, he advocates for saving in Bitcoin, calling it the most effective way for younger generations to secure financial success before it's too late. In his view, Bitcoin's current moment is unique, similar to the early days of stock market booms in the 1980s. While other technologies, like AI, may dominate the future, Kruger stresses that Bitcoin's rise is inevitable and that failing to act now could result in missing the best wealth-building opportunity of this generation. 
For more Daily Dose Crypto News, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.